Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm finally back with probably my greatest purchase of a Pokemon collection that I've presented on the channel yet so far. I paid $1,600 for this thing and it's from Macari. I'm going to give a little sneak peek here of what we're getting into. Yeah, it's pretty insane. There's easily a thousand ultra rares. We got a binder as well. Sealed product, I'll get over that quick. We starting off with a sealed Darkness of Blaze ETV. We got a Celebrations ETV. And two more here. Fusion Strike. I always like the Mew artwork on that one. And a Sun and Moon base set. So we also came it also came with this Pokemon Go thing here and RCSV figure box. This guy, I, I'm telling you, like he had to spend a good $20,000 on all the stuff he opened up for this collection. It is insane. We also got this sealed, I think this came in the cereal boxes, blister pack there. Okay, um, we'll start off with some of the graded cards. There's not much here. This one is just in case. This is a Dragon Knight EX first edition. I'm not familiar with what set this is from. This is a Japanese card. It's in about moderately played condition, or around 40 bucks. Um, a PSA 10, Birds, Stained Glass. This is always a great card. It sells out super fast. Uh, PSA 10, Charizard Elite Trainer Pat. Elite Trainer Box, Champion's Path, PSA 10. This is cool. This is one you don't see very often. This came in the Lunchbox tin with the Armored Mewtwo, and uh, I think there was also a Pikachu promo in there. Got the Mint 9 on that, a Rayquaza, uh, Amazing Rare. I remember when these Amazing Rares were crazy, selling for like 300 bucks in a PSA 10. We have a Charizard VMAX Beckett 9.5. Not familiar on what that'll fetch. And then we got a 9.5 CGC. I'm not sure this will sell for like 15 bucks. Okay, let's get into these massive stacks of Ultra Rares, Full Arts, Secret Rares, you name it. There's everything in this. There's just everything. These aren't sleeves, so I'll have to get these sleeved up afterwards here. But I kind of just want to browse through them quickly. Um, some base set stuff. What is that stain on there? I wonder if that's an air from the Pokemon Company. Because it, I don't feel that f the stain on the card itself. That might be an air card, so that's really cool. We got a Haunter, Reverse, Hollow Energy, and then we're starting to get into the Ultra Rares. You can see there's just so much stuff. This is basically how the whole collection is going to be. Tons and tons of Ultra Rares, promo cards. Everything here is worth a, a couple dollars or so. So it's worth it for sure to sift through everything. Some nice promos. Yeah, you can see it's it's loaded. It gets a little crazy as well. I was looking at his page, so I got this from Akari. He had tons of other like higher end stuff that he obviously sold off before this purchase, which is pretty common. You always want to when you're selling your Pokemon collection, it's smart to get rid of the big stuff. Oh, here's a nice code for you guys. It's smart to get rid of all the bigger cards and then sell off stuff like this, like the five dollar, eight dollar cards in one bigger lot. It's a little easier on you, but this guy must have like really needed to get rid of this stuff fast because this this is easily worth like five grand this whole collection all right just just this stack alone it's just it's crazy the value in this thing some nice some nice amazing rares tons of ultra rares i'm gonna have a lot of work to do this is perfect because I needed something like this for Christmas time. I've been buying a lot of collections. Haven't been making many videos on them because I really only like to show you guys the stuff, crazy stuff like this. Stuff really sh worth showing you guys. <laughs> you can already see that there's two shiny Magikarps just casually sitting without a sleeve. Tons of celebrations was opened. Um, you'll see in the binder soon that... <laughs> We got a ton of the birthday Pikachus. See, if you guys are ever interested in getting a master set of celebrations, I will definitely have that all listed on my store here very soon. Galatian GX, I always like that one. Some nice hollows. Ooh, there's a cool Burning Shadows Gyarados. I always like that one. Raichu, 
Shining Fates. And the cards are upside down. I'm doing tons of twists and turns here with the with the cards. Some nice V Maxes. And these cards are all gonna be just fine. A lot of people like to panic when when they see cards without sleeves, but I I handle a lot of cards without sleeves, especially modern stuff. The only thing that you would want to sleeve if it's worth a little bit of value are reverses. Reverses are the only thing that are that scratch up really easy. These cards are made well. They're made to be handled. Here's another code card. Guardians Rising. What is this one? Rebel Clash. Um, Not sure what that is. Uh, Dragon Ball or Digimon. Lots of VMAXs, some more Digimon. Ditto V. And we're almost through the first stack. There we go, ending on a Kingler VMAX. So first stack, we already got a huge pile of Ultra Rares, a couple Secret Rares in there, Trainer Gallery, some cool stuff. Then we found that really cool Farfetch'd. That's one of the fun things about sifting through bulk or just collections in general. You find weird stuff like this. I'm not sure if that is an inking error or if that's happened when the guy had it in his collection, but usually when a card is stained, you can feel the stain, and I'm not feeling much anything, so which that's really cool. Get the hollow bears out of the way as well. All right, so grab the next little portion of cards. There's so much that... <laughs> That doesn't even put a dent in what we got to go through so far. This stuff we can start going through a little faster because it's a little more sorted out. These are the Dittos. Super cool. Unpeeled Dittos. He's got a ton of them. Nice Radiant Eevee. Some more Dittos. So much. This guy opened up so many packs, which is really cool to see. It's a little sad that he had to get rid of it all. I'm, sh I'm sure he, he this helped him out, though, whatever situation he was in. Got some nice ultra rares. The great thing about Pokemon is you can always get right back into it. Right back into it. There's always a new set. There's always some crazy new chase card. And yeah, a lot of celebrations was opened up here. You can see you got not even doubles, quadruples, triples. <laughs> some Dark Gyarados. Pikachu's. A lot of little celebrations lot here. We'll get into the good stuff soon, don't worry. And the binder is really cool as well. I always like doing this for you guys, going over, see if there's anything special that I missed. I always go through it first because I want to make sure that what I paid for is in there. This was, yeah, we got some cool Cosmic Eclipse hollows. I've had some bad luck in the past. Earlier on, I used to buy a lot of collections that I had fake cards because I wasn't really good at identifying them online. Uh, the lot of GX and EX era holo cards, if they take really bad photos of them, I avoid you. I, I suggest you avoid paying for it because those can be easily hidden. Ooh, we got a nice Rayquaza EX. Here's another code card from Celebrations. Chuck it out of there. Some base set stuff. Got a mix. A lot of Champion's Path in here, too. You can tell this guy. Ooh, Detective Pikachu booster pack. Is this another one? Another Detective Pikachu. Some good codes in here for you guys. Some basic Ultra Rares. Nice hollow rares too. Okay, so we got one stack down onto the next one. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer one. Usually I can get through these collection videos in 10 minutes, but we're not even halfway through everything. So this is the Burning Shadows Pikachu reverse. I always like that one. Ooh, here's one I haven't seen before. I think I might have seen it, but can't really remember. Sun and Moon 206. Is this one from the box? No, they would be closer together, I would think. So no, it's not from that lunchbox. 
Arceus. That guy has come down in price a bit. Okay, Snorlax Hollow Rare, one of my favorite Hollow Rares from Sword and Shield. Oh, look at that card. <laughs> Got a loose sleeve there, another one. Lots of promos. Oh, here's a cool one I haven't seen before. XY97, we got Arceus. Nice little light played condition. I like that one, I'll put him back there. I haven't seen that one before. The Snorlax 2, one of the earlier promos, one of my favorites. Lots of baby shinies. I apologize if I'm not going over everything in detail. There's just so much here, and I kind of want to show off some of the higher end stuff at the end. All right, halfway through that pile. I always got to be careful moving everything. I don't want to knock anything on the ground. I have done that before. Luckily, they were all in sleep, so everything ended up being okay. Lots of VMAXs. So this is perfect, just perfect timing for the holiday season. S lot, my sales have already started to go pretty crazy. Everyone's starting to buy stuff for Christmas, and it's a good time to buy now because shipping gets really delayed around this time of year. Look at all those flying... Pikachu Femax. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so funny. Uh, lots of professors. Uh, there's going to be lots of master sets of celebrations. <laughs> A lot of them. Okay, another stack down. We're going faster now. I'm getting the hang of it. It's not like this is my job or anything. <laughs> okay. Some of these cards here aren't sleeves, so you gotta remember that, be a little extra careful with them. Hidden Fates, some GX era stuff. Lots of this upside down. Every time I flip it, it flips right back, see? <laughs> What's behind here? Butterf Butterfree VMAX, Mew VMAX, tons of VMAXs here. Nice low code card. Ooh, this is for the pin collection, Hatterene, Champion's Path. Two Blastoise VMAXs. These are like $17 each. Code card for celebrations. That one did not throw very well. There's the code if you missed it. Get it out of there. Continuing on, some more VMAXs. Ooh, Venusaur. That's one you don't see very often. Lucario from Unbroken Bonds. And then we got a Dragon Ball Z card here. Ultra, I, I have no clue. I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z. Vaporeon promo. Gardevoir. Some more reverse Pikachus. Celebrations. It's a mix. A huge mix of stuff. Who is that the alternate? Oh no, that's just the regular Burning Shadows Darkrai. There is an alternate art version of him. And right there. Yeah, so you guys might want to watch this video with your phone upside down because <laughs> a lot of the cards are. <laughs> it's a little difficult to swap back and forth. That would make it and add so much more time. There's a lot of stuff here. Ooh, some Shining Legend Mewtwo's. These are worth to look over really quick. We got two of them there. Very nice. Toxicity Mew of VMAX. So these collections, I always find some, some crazy ones like this for a really good deal every now and then. This one I think is the best so far that I've found online. I've had some great in-person purch in purchases. Those are a little easier to get a good deal on because you can pay in cash. Online, people usually know the value stuff. And there's a lot of more people. It's really competitive buying collections online. Uh, I believe there was... He had it listed for 2000 I sent an offer of 1600 Not everything was per uh, pictured. So a lot of the stuff I'm showing you here was a complete surprise. That's why I was blown away. I'm like, wow, I have to make a video on this. This is by far the best purchase I've ever made on Macari. And I've made a lot. I've hundreds of binders, hundreds of collections I've purchased off of there. Um, Pidgeot EX. Lots of ultra rares here. Tons of Sun and uh, Champion's Path stuff. You can kind of feel what era this was. This was like COVID time. Pokemon was crazy back then. It's still really good. I, I would say the best it's ever been. 2022 was an amazing year for Pokemon. Selling, buying, everything. 
really happy with where Pokemon is at right now. Even though a lot of people say that we're in a down market, I think we're doing just fine. Um, so we're looking at a lot of like stuff like this, like this Tyranitar. You might think, oh, it's just a reverse Tyranitar. That's probably like a two but two dollar, three dollar card. Misty Cedra, Japanese Hollow Rare. Lots of upside down GX cards. All right, there we go. I'll try and turn it a little more. Once we get to the floor, it's I'll make sure we see everything there. And again, some. This is Digimon, right? This one's Digimon. No, this is Dragon Ball Z, is it? Oh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> there we go. I'm getting a little better. A little better at identifying. Um, so we got... Let's see here. A couple more piles of just the regular stuff like this. These are cool. Nice alternate art. Sylveon GX. Those are really good sellers. Here's another code card. Tag Team Power Collection. Nice. Some really good codes in here as well. That like little splash here. That doesn't look normal. I, I don't know. I haven't seen a Waylord. Looked at a Waylord closely in a while from Champion's Path. Ooh, Ho-Oh promo. That's a good one. EV promo. So I'll definitely be sending a lot of these cards off to get graded as well. So this is a nice, nice selection of stuff here all in really good condition too some snorlax vmax cards mimikyu like toxicity getting into some celebrations again this is a lot of celebrations in here um ooh, gengar promo i love that one sun and moon or sword and shield 52 some xy we're mainly looking at a lot of early 2020, or was it 2020? Late 2020 Pokemon. This guy definitely, it looks like he found his old collection of Pokemon and got into the whole hype wave of the Logan Paul era, I guess you can call it. It's always funny. You can really tell. I, I'm really liking some of these promos that I haven't seen from XY. But you can tell, ooh, Swirl on the Shaman. You can tell, at least for me, I buy so many collections. I can really tell when this person started collecting, when they were a casual collector, and when they went all in and just went crazy. <laughs> it's, it's always funny. Ooh, another one of those cool Pikachu promos. Ooh, and then we got a Bulbasaur Detective Pikachu promo. This guy definitely... Definitely had fun opening up Champion's Path because I haven't seen Champion's Path is actually one of the sets that I don't find a lot of GX cards and stuff like that for it normally. Um, most people that got into it sold all their stuff right away. So you, you, you come across collections like that's another awesome picture that I don't ever see. You, you come across stuff like this where they held on to it for a while they casually open up newer sets, but then they're slowly that that same that same feel that it used to give them probably when COVID was around. It's just not there, and that's pretty common. But either way, awesome collection we got here. Now we're starting to get into some of the crazier stuff. What do I want to do here first? Yeah, we'll start with this stack. We're starting to get into the expensive stuff. Nice little. Mew VMAX again, Tag Team, Full Art, Mimikyu VMAX, Rapid Strike Urshifu, tons of Trainer Gallery, pretty much a complete set. And then we got these awesome vending machine cards. I always love these. This is a really cool one too. Sleeping Pokemon always look nice. Mimikyu VMAX, tons of Brilliant Stars, Zacian, Astral Radiance. RCS V Star. Another RCS V Star. I remember this was like a $40 card. I'm not sure what it's at now. The crazy thing is I gotta go mail out orders right now too. It's I got so much to do. Oh, we got the nice Mega Lucario alternate art. I love that one. 
Yeah, see, it's starting to get crazy. Mega Alakazam EX. Mega Blastoise. Rayquaza. Let's check the condition of this one. Am I going to grade this one? I just graded one of these. It got a 10. That one I will not be grading. <laughs> that one will not be graded. <laughs> Mew EX. That one will be sold. Mega Gardevoir EX. Zygarde. This guy looked like he opened up the premium collection with all the alternate arts in it. One of my favorite alternate arts, Tepe Clef and Ig Igglypuff alternate art. Got another alternate art, Umbreon and Darkrai. Some full arts, Rayquaza, Pikachu, Typhlosion, Kremorant. I got a loose Pierce. Ho oh from Burning Shadows. Vaporeon. <laughs> Ooh, some Sword and Shield. Full arts. I always loved the Zacian and Zamazenta. You don't see these very often. Not a lot of Sword and Shield. Not a lot of people were massively into Pokemon when Sword and Shield was out, like how it is nowadays. And the booster box is expensive as well, I believe. Charizard. Charizard E V. Kaboom. Marnie's Pride. Some double Charizards there. Verizian V from Astral Radiance. I think Astral Radiance was the final set that he opened up. So that's all we're going to see here. And then Omega Steelix from Steam Siege. Okay. Really awesome stack there. Um, next one up. Oh, I forgot about this one. We got a ton of sealed promos. Uh, it's got the celebrations <laughs> just casually sifted in there. I almost forgot. We got a whole binder to go through still. So we got a lot of promos here. Forgot to show that one off. I always go through those promos fast. People love buying sealed promos. Okay. All right. Some more crazy cards. We got a base set. Hitmonchamp, Lapras, Vaporeon, Espeon from Neo, Japanese. Um, a Mewtwo. What language is this? Um, French? I don't know. I'm I'm bad at that. You guys gotta let me know what language that Mewtwo is. It's Mewtwo. I kind of like that. Um, Mew promo. Some secret rares. Very nice secret rares. Oh, he actually Pokemon Go. No, Astral Radiance was after Pokemon Go, right, guys? Greninja and Zorark tag team. I love the tag team cards so much. I miss this era of secret rares. This is when secret rares were really cool. They're kind of overplayed a little bit. I think the trainers is what make the secret rares suck. Um, I don't mind getting a secret rare Pokemon, but when I get a secret rare trainer, I get a little upset. Shining Rayquaza, awesome card. Let's see, we grading that one? Are we grading that one? We are not. We are not grading that one. That one is near mint, but it's got a little bit of an off-center cut to it. Shaman V-Star. Um, okay, okay, I gotta getting a little confused on what piles are what lucario v star or v full art promo oh yeah take a look at all these golds egg incubator full face guard got the ooh galarian Articudo just sit, hidden in there leaf energy secret rare yeah this 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 is an insane collection you guys he had tons of other stuff, too, that he sold off prior that I, I didn't see. Like, every secret rare you can imagine, top, top secret rare. There's some in here, but he did sell a lot of them. Okay. Like, looking over what is going to be the best order to do things. Okay, yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, last little section here. Nice Blastoise and Piplup. Forgot about this one from Cosmic. Leafeon, Full Arts, and ending on a Granbull V. Always got to end on a Granbull V. Is, always seems to have a ton of those. Okay, now we're into a nice little top-loaded section here. We got an Umbreon Gold Star and a casual Pikachu VMAX from Vivid Voltage. This one's got a little wear to it. Raichu V, Dragon, Dragon Eye V Star. Some more vending machine promos. This one's really cool. This is the one that caught my eye. Look at that one. That's an awesome promo. And on the back, it's got Charizard. That'll be an expensive one. Not sure the exact price. 
Suicune. You guys all know that's the most expensive one in the shiny subset. Um, nothing special there. Let's see, I'll flip them over. Clara V and then Zinnia's Resolve. Okay, here's a gold Pikachu from the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection Box. There's a couple of those in here. This awesome Dragonite Level 61. Another Dragonite V-Star. Dragonite GX. Dragonite from Fossil. In very good condition. I'd say moderately played to light played. Dragonite EX from Cel uh, not Celebrations. Evolutions. <laughs> so many sets on my brain right now. We got the Dragonite promo. Reshiram Charizard GX. Lugia Break. And then another Reshiram and Charizard GX. Okay, so now we got some more cards that are encased here. Starting off with <laughs> two. Um, not, they aren't sealed. They're encased gold Charizards from the UPC. Very cool. Um, what do we got here? Ooh, I love that Generations Charizard. And we got an Evolutions Charizard. And then some sticker promos. These are also cool. Starmie. Trainer Gallery from Astro Radiance. The best Trainer Gallery in the set. Um, oh, this Charizard slid out. This is why I don't like these cases. That that card was like pressed on it. Let's see. Did this have any damage done to it? Let's take a look. Really cool Charizard vending machine sticker. I have no clue what this one is. No idea if it's rare or not. I'll have to do some research. I'm not 100% familiar with all of these. But it does have a nice print line there. <laughs> Put them right here. We got an awesome Pikachu. And then, what is this? Ooh, Snorlax. Oh, I love that card. That's a really nice one with Charizard on the back. And Charizard GX, Machamp first edition, and then a nice base set Charizard. The condition is pretty good on this one too. It's a little off-centered, but very nice condition. I have no idea how I'm gonna open this one though. Okay, we'll figure that out later off camera when I have a little more room to work with. Now, there is this little vintage binder here. It's just got a page of stuff like this nothing too special but we're now going to move into the binder this one is the ending of this awesome collection move this out of the way quick all right so let's see do we have room for this thing we do perfect this is a nice celebrations binder starting off with eternatus some nice secret rares gyarados sil valley gx Got a Pikachu uh, character secret rare from Cosmic. Some secret rares, alternate arts. This this collection is truly amazing. I'm gonna have so much fun deciding what to grade, what to keep for myself, what to sell. You guys gotta let me know if you're interested in anything as well. There's so much. Every, if you're a fan of Pokemon, there's definitely gonna be something in here that you wanna pick up. This binder alone is I'd value it over a thousand bucks. And that's almost what I paid for the whole collection. I love this Primal Kyogre EX. One of my favorite EX Full Art cards. Um, oh yeah, speaking of EX Full Art cards, I didn't show you guys this, but I did pick this up from a Facebook Marketplace purchase. Lugia EX. Speaking of my favorites, here's one of my favorite Full Art EX cards. Okay. Um, Mew, Gold Mew. Always a great one. Some more of those Celebration promos. Two more of them. Um, blank page, Scent of Scorch V, Galarian Articuno, uh, shiny, some more f uh, shiny cards from Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, com little combo here. Here's a nice Pikachu full art. Remember when that one used to be really expensive. Some full art EX or GX cards and EX. Another Blastoise and Piplup, Gyarados GX from. Crimson Invasion, Blastoise GX from, uh, oh, I was going to say Unbroken Bonds, but that's just the Sun and Moon promo. I always forget about that. Latios GX, lovely one too. Some more Baby Shinies. 
nice little page of them. Not going to go over that much. Some more baby shinies. And we'll just hit the 30 minute mark of this video. Got another sweet cone. So this is probably one of my longest videos I think I've ever made. Just shows you how massive this collection is. Guzma and Hala from Cosmic Trainer card there. Um, some celebrations promos. Here's where it's just insane. Look at that. All the celebrations, just three of everything there. We got another three of everything. Some more. This is all the like promos. Oh, that's a nice page. That is a very nice page. And the last one. We got three Venusaurs, three Blastoise, and three Charizards. Well, two of the regular ones from Celebrations and another gold plated one. Thank you guys all for watching. This was such a fun video to go over. You guys got to let me know what was your favorite card from this. There's so much. You got to have one. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day, guys. Later.